win the election. 76 pages in here. What did you make of it? Not much. I mean, we had 102 broken promises from the last Labour manifesto, and this was much the same. Uh, and given that the problems we have with our broken economy, with our broken society, with our broken politics, it had a distinct lack of ambition or imagination. And uh, people will look at the promises and say, well, after 13 years of broken promises, why should we believe any of the promises in this one? It's time for a change. They make a promise, though, that they will not extend the scope of VAT. They don't rule out putting it up, to, uh, putting it up altogether, but they do rule out extending the scope. Will you promise to do that? Well, the, the scope's largely determined, I understand, by European law, uh, and therefore the only thing open to the UK government is to change the, the rate. Uh, we've said that we have no plans whatsoever because none of the things that we uh, intend to do require an increase in tax. In fact, we want to stop Labour's rise in national insurance, which we think would damage the recovery in this country. So effectively, yeah, the, going simply on the record, Labour said last time we won't raise income tax at any level, they did it twice. Uh, now they say we won't raise VAT. Who's to believe them? They've done it twice already. So just on the point of the scope of VAT, will you now say definitively that you would not put up VAT on things like children's clothes, food, newspapers in the way that the Labour Party has? Well, we said we've no plans um, to change VAT. It's not the same as ruling it out, though, you know as well as I do. Well. We, as close as we can to ruling anything out, as you, you have no idea what's coming around the corner. And we've a phenomenal amount of, of debt to deal with in this country. And I think that in the Labour manifesto today, and as in the general election so far, people don't seem to quite grasp the, the level of debt that we're talking about. We're talking about phenomenal amounts per household. We're talking about borrowing £1.2 million pounds every day since the birth of Jesus. That's what the amount of debt we now have is. This is something that's saddled on the next generation. And there's a clear choice here, because Labour want to raise taxes so they can continue to spend and continue to build up the debt. We want to see a reduction in that national insurance uh, charge so that we can actually get the economy moving again. Very briefly, at tomorrow your manifesto launch, will you give us more detail of how you would pay down the debt? There'll be a lot more detail than we've had from Labour so far, and there'll be a very clear choice in this country between higher taxes and higher public spending uh, and a lack of recovery with Labour. And the Conservatives who believe in lower taxes, getting government spending down and getting wealth back into the pockets of this country and into the small businesses where we can create the sustainable wealth for the future. Okay, Liam Fox, thank you very much indeed for joining us in a rather windy Westminster. And of course, we'll look forward to seeing the details of the Conservative manifesto when they take their turn to have a big day out tomorrow. Laura, thanks very much for now. Thank you. Well, throughout this election campaign, our correspondents will be travelling around the country.